Meantime, right now, a homeless encampment in unincorporated El Cajon is being cleared out to make way for a construction project. We've been working for you on this story. For months, dozens of tents have lined Magnolia Avenue, and many of you have complained, calling it a health and safety issue. CBS 8's Shannon Handy was at the camp today and has details on the project and what will happen to all of those people living there. We've been out here several times before, but as you can see, this encampment is much smaller than it has been in the past. The county issued a notice to vacate last week, telling the people who live here they have until this Thursday to leave. As for where they're going to go, county leaders tell us they're trying to connect as many people here as possible to housing and services. Cameras are rolling today as Caltrans crews continue clearing out what was once a large homeless encampment on North Magnolia Avenue in unincorporated El Cajon. Okay. It comes just days after the County of San Diego issued this notice to vacate in order to prepare for maintenance and construction. Any belongings left behind will be held for 90 days. The plan is to add fences and convert the area into a safe parking lot where people can sleep overnight in their vehicles and have access to on site facilities and counseling. We are consistently and constantly looking for opportunities uh, for compassionate solutions. Barbara Jimenez with San Diego County's Health and Human Services Agency was at the camp the day that notice to vacate was served. So were representatives from area organizations. Hi. Hi. How you doing, sir? Who Hi. went tent to tent handing out hotel vouchers and offering people access to homeless services. We want them to be safe. A county spokesperson told CBS 8 as of Friday, 71 people had accepted housing vouchers. Today, we saw about a dozen people left. But will you go? Yes. You will. I spoke with three people today. They did not want to go on camera. Two of the three say they are still waiting on hotel vouchers. One man told me he still hasn't been approached by anyone. You don't have anywhere to go? This area has long been a source of frustration for people in the neighborhood who say it's unsafe and unsanitary. Ma'am. That's not a good job when it's still continuing. I'm happy to this woman expressed her frustration to County Supervisor Joel Anderson during a news conference last month. Back then, he promised work was being done to clean up the area. Today, a spokesperson for Anderson said he was not available for comment, but referenced a memo Anderson sent to the county's chief administration officer and the sheriff's department on May 6. In it, he said, it is imperative that the county now take the additional steps necessary to restore this location to one that is safe for all community members. That safe parking lot will be able to accommodate about 12 to 16 cars, but no ground or tent camping will be allowed. It should be ready in the next three months. All right, Shannon, thanks.